Hi everybody, welcome to Jesus Without Religion. You know, if you're like many, many believers today, there was a time in your life where you you heard the gospel message and you gave your life to Jesus Christ. You asked him to come into your heart and be the be your savior. You realized that you could not, uh, through human effort, save yourself or, or in any way possibly make it to heaven through human effort, law keeping and performance. And the message to you was that Jesus recognizes your sin and Jesus goes to a cross and he dies for that sin. He loves the world so much that he gave his own life that he might redeem us back that whosoever call on the name of the Lord would be saved. You know, we had this analogy of this uh, this bridge and it's really fixed, uh, or I'm sorry, there's a gap and there's a bridge that's laid over once we put our faith in Jesus Christ. But then the message changes, it seems like. Once we uh, are saved, all of a sudden the church seems to unfortunately come behind it with the message about, you know, you're, you're a lukewarm Christian if you don't have enough uh, uh, works. You know, maybe God would spit you out of his mouth. Or we start talking about broken fellowship. You know, maybe you're stumbling or struggling with some type of sin. And God, once again, is turning his back on you. And these are old covenant messages being sort of... Uh, diluted. Uh, really, it's trying to dilute the new covenant message. It's a, it becomes Christianity becomes a behavior improvement program as we twist all kinds of scriptures into pieces. So here, you know, we're bringing the gospel back to believers. I'm reminded of Galatians where it says, you foolish Galatians, and we could insert our own churches in some cases, but you foolish Galatians, this began by the Spirit. Your salvation, your righteousness, your holiness begins by the Spirit through faith in Jesus Christ. He goes on to say, are you now perfecting yourself by the flesh? Apparently, somebody has snuck in and changed the message of the gospel of being saved and made right with God through faith in Jesus. And somebody has come in and said, yeah, it's great that you have Jesus. Now you just need these performance-based levels, this law-keeping system, these ceremonies, and other means of getting right with God other than faith in Jesus Christ. Listen, we're all about living an upright, godly life. We're all about avoiding sin. We're not made for sin, but the gospel is Jesus Christ died for your sin. God loves you. No more broken fellowship. The sin problem is dealt with, and you are a child of God, and I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy this trip with us. Journey along with us as we, as we really dig through these verses that have really just put us back in bondage, and I think you're going to love it. God bless you, and thanks for visiting us.